Welcome back to another video, and today we're going to be reviewing the Mono AU PM401H. I think that's how it goes. I'm not so sure. As always, I'm not quite sure how to say the company name, but uh, they were nice enough to send this microphone to me. It looks uh, like a pretty solid microphone, and uh, by the way, this goes for about $100 on Amazon. So I'm expecting it to sound pretty well. It comes with a stand, a pop filter, and headphones. Keep in mind, part of that $100 is going towards that other stuff too, so it's not about $100 worth of microphone, it's more about like $70 worth of microphone. Uh, with that being said, let's just crack it open and see how it sounds. By the way, it has a cardioid polar pattern, which is just like in front of the mic, so it will only pick up the front side of the mic. It also has a zero latency monitor function where you can just plug your headphones into the microphone and listen to it back. I mean, not that it really matters, but it's packaged pretty nice. Oh, and you're supposed to open it while it's standing up. In here, we have the two pop filters that it comes with. It comes with one of these types and then the type that goes over it. Um, I see the headphones. Where's the microphone itself? Right here. This microphone is actually a lot smaller than I thought it, it would be. That's not a bad thing. Um, it looks, it looks nice. Let's see, get a little. It sounds pretty durable. It looks like it has like an XLR design, but it's a USB mic. Has a mute button on the front and that, uh, input we were talking about to monitor it. Here we got our headphones, which no one really cares about. I mean... I mean, while we're, while we're on the subject, they do look pretty nice. I mean, they're kind of comfortable, I guess. There's at least going to be one person out there that wants a review with the headphones. And we have the boom arm stand right here. I'm not going to pretend like it's anything special. It's a basic, cheap, flimsy stand. It's actually really, really light. But the microphone is light, too, so it doesn't really matter. I want to say it also comes with a shock mount by the photo. So if I take that, yep, there's another layer right here. That's kind of cool. Uh, without further ado, let's just get this microphone set up. Okay, so here is the raw, unedited audio from the microphone one thing to note the shock mount the microphone like it all looks nice but the shock mount and definitely the stand feels pretty flimsy while you're using it the microphone right here has a mute button on the front and when you press it it goes red just so you can get a little bit of an overview on how the microphone actually looks to use so the stand and the shock mount definitely feel flimsy but the microphone overall looks nice and it sounds nice so as with all my videos i do the audio unedited and edited so starting now all audio is going to be edited on the microphone I'm also going to slide a pop filter over it so this pop filter that it comes with i notice it does look a little funky on it so the other pop filter might be the better option for you and this is what the other pop filter looks like i mean it's a little big for how big the microphone is so if it's really worth it, it is all up to you. I was expecting this microphone to sound pretty good, and it does sound pretty good. I'm really happy with how this thing sounds, and it looks nice and professional. But I mean, there's always different options, so I wouldn't just settle with one thing. Because if you get this soon enough, you'll have to get a new stand and everything too. But bottom line, yes, it is a good microphone, and I do recommend it. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And besides, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.